welcome. <laughs> Come on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to finally be doing this empty house tour. It's been a long time coming, but I wanted to give you guys a look before we bring all the furniture in, which we plan to do in a few hours. So I'm gonna run through this really quickly. As you can see, this is the foyer. I love the high ceilings in here. Plan on doing a nice chandelier. We also want to change out this door here, but I'll do another video. Okay, this will be the master. Absolutely love it. Um, I do like that it has a thermostat in here. That way, I don't have to get up in the middle of the night searching for a thermostat to change the AC, so. This is the master bath. Because even I finally have our own vanities, our own sinks, which I'm sure he will appreciate. And the hair is mine. I absolutely am in love with this garden tub. Both of us could probably fit in here. I'm going to go to let in some light. I love it. Here we have a linen closet. Okay. Here is the white closet. Shower. As you can see, it's the same type of route on the tub surround, the flooring, and all the way up the shower. Right through here, we have the master closet. What? I can see my reflection everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, right through here, we have the master closet. We do want to do a custom closet in here. Um, for the most part, it would be Kazine's closet. Um, I will show you guys what I plan on doing for mine. Right off the master bath, we have the laundry. Nice and roomy in there. Right across the hall here, I plan to do a closet room in here. I cannot wait to take you guys along with me through the journey of decorating and everything just the way I love it. Um, so please come back, stay tuned. This is the closet. I probably put my things that are like out of season, things like that, in the actual closet in this room, and then everything else just out. If you know, I know I've heard IKEA, but if you know of another um, closet system that you know is bomb, please let me know, because I would love to set this room up nicely. You don't plan on doing something with the lost. Okay, and here, choose. Here, my son and my daughter um, call this there clubhouse. It wraps all the way around. I think it's really cute. Look at you come down here and shake you the amazing. Get. 
Okay, here's the door for the patio. Um, we love to extend it um, eventually as well. Here we have the uh, breakfast nook area here. And then right after breakfast nook, of course, would be the kitchen. Love that we have this fish island here. Um, love that it's nice and bright. Uh, it is gray on the cabinet. I'm still thinking about going white. I'm not sure because everyone's going white. Um, nice faucet here. I would love to change everything out to uh, brush um, brass or brush gold, but we'll see. Here we have a nice backsplash. Um, microwave. Nice uh, stove top. Um, it is electric, which I like for now because the kids are, I have two little ones. Uh, one just had five and one that was two. So I was extremely nervous about them like, turning a knob or something like that. But, uh, it just freaks me out. Um, but they are separate, so I can change it out at any time if I choose to. Um, and we have the oven there. Dishwasher. This is our temporary fridge. It's here for now, but it's not a permanent fridge. We just had it here so that when we do a little bed um, later today, that we have somewhere to put food and things like that. Here we have the pantry. Nice. The builders were so nice to leave. Um, some extra towel for the backsplash. Um, also, some of the flooring. If you guys look at the flooring um, here, I love this color. I am a gray girl all the way, so I absolutely love the flooring here. Over here, we do have the um, guest bath. I do like that it's a full bath. If we just so happen to have someone stay over, then they can shower. We do not like to share our bath and shower, so this is awesome. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it, so. Okay, we're gonna go up these stairs. Guys, I just absolutely love the view from here. Especially when you see what we're gonna do with this living room. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Here we have the game room area. We're not quite sure what we're gonna do with this area. We did want a media, so we may turn this into a media area. We're not sure. Also, I love that the, you can see the foyer from off the game room area. Of course, we're gonna put a beautiful chandelier here. So it's gonna look beautiful. From the attic, which I plan to never go up and um, see the inside of that. I'm sorry, but I'm not an attic girl. It's not gonna happen. I watch too many scary movies. Okay, and through here, we have the kids' bathroom. Here. It's the same, it has the same towel as the master and the guest bathroom, so. Here we have extra closet space. Okay, and here we have baby girl's room. This will be my daughter's room. Now, I'm just thinking about all the nice things, that, all the nice memories she's gonna have in this home and in this room. She has her own space, and as a mom, if you're a mother, you know, you know, it's just, this is what brings happiness to me. Just knowing my kids are gonna, where they're gonna grow and just all the memories we're gonna create in this home. I can see it now. This is her closet space, just enough for her. Here we do have a um, extra storage. It's a linen closet. 
Okay, and this will be my son in law. It's huge in here. I don't know why he would need all of this space, but he's the oldest and he absolutely loves his own space, doing his own thing. So, um, this suits him well. Has a nice size closet. Nice walk in. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any advice for a new homeowner like myself, please leave it down below in the comment section. I would love to hear from you guys. I'm excited to take you all on this journey with me as I make this house a home. So please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more home and lifestyle content. Until next time.